Hi there. I want to talk about COVID testing today, everybody's favorite subject. So if you've been traveling recently, you know that you need to have a negative COVID test to get back into the U.S. As international travel has been opening up, a lot of people are going overseas, and you got to get that test to get back. I think this video is kind of late in the game. It's April 3rd or 4th, Sunday, and hopefully we'll be listing these testing requirements soon. But if there's another wave, we're going to have to do it. And I've thought everybody would know these, but a lot of people don't know the best ways to get tested to get back in the U.S. First of all, I want to say this is just my experience, my opinion. There's uh, several ways that you can get tested while overseas. My personal favorite way is to not go get tested overseas. I rather bring the tests with me. So let's talk about what kind of tests there are and what kind of tests that I've used. So hang on just a second. We'll go... Um, PowerPoint mode here. First of all, not medical advice. I am not a doctor. I just play one on YouTube. Uh, this is just friend to friend travel advice. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the types of COVID tests. Uh, there's a viral test, which measure, measure the viral load in your uh, body. And there's antibody tests, which measure antibodies, which are your body's defensive mechanism to the virus in the body. Antibody tests aren't useful for coming back in the US. I'm not sure what they're useful for anymore since so, so many people probably have the antibodies, but the, these type of tests you don't want to get back in the US. CDC doesn't uh, recommend them and hence TSA won't take them. So the next, the type you need is a viral test and there's two types of viral test. PCR, which is the gold standard. These are the most accurate, most expensive and longest to get test. You can find rapid PCRs that only take about a half hour they seem to be accepted everywhere, at least so far, knock on wood for me. And, but the problem with most PCR tests is they can take uh, 24 to 36, 72 hours to process. Well, that's a problem because you have to have a test within 24 hours of returning to the US. You can see anything that's right on that boundary, that's kind of spooky to be waiting to get that test result before you can check in. And the airlines will not let you check in until you show a, a negative, piece, uh, negative uh, viral test. The other type is we all know, these are the ones that the post office will send you, you can get over at whatever pharmacy you like, you just pick up off the shelves. These are the antigen tests. These are very fast. They take 15 minutes, you swab your own nose, put the test in, mix a little solution in there. Each one's a little different. There's simple instructions for each one and you can get a COVID test back in 15 minutes. This is what I use all the time uh, before I go do some of my work activities that require it and before I uh, try to get back into the US. The problem is you can't just use any over-the-counter test. You have to use one that is accepted by the airlines that have a monitoring service that goes along with them. And you can buy them a pack where they'll send you the antigen test and include the monitoring service. So when you go take the test, you just start up a, a video session, sort of like Zoom, you know, each, each, everybody's got their own video subsystem, but it's just a web-based video session. You get on there, you open up the test in front of them, they watch you take the test, they certify the negative results, they send you an email that you can then take that email with a two-dimensional barcode, upload it to your airline, we'll talk about that in a minute, and you can then check in. So the sources for tests, there's Two that I've used, there's probably more, but there's definitely two that I've used. There's EMED, and there's a link for it. I'll put this in the description as well. So I use them, I've used them with both Delta, with the Ready Fly or Fly Ready, sorry, from Delta, where you get the, an email from them with a two dimensional barcode that you print out and upload to Delta. One little thing, when EMED sends it out, they send it out password protected. So you have to open it up and then print it back out, you get a PDF, you got to open up the PDF, put the passcode in, which they'll tell you what that is in the email, then print it back out to get the passcode out because uh, FlyReady can't deal with a passcode PDF. Same way I've done this with America, American Airlines, the Verify from American Airlines. And then those are little phone apps and websites if you haven't played with those, but you can upload these results and then you can check in, which is good. I've also used the Elum Asvo, Asavo, Asava. I don't know how you say that. I used that once. It worked. Um, I used it with Delta. 
I didn't know if it worked with Verifly, so I switched over to EMAD. And I've just been staying with EMAD because it was quite smooth. And I just ordered these right from emad.com. There's probably a lot of others that I don't know. There's also the more expensive, more complicated, skip it all together option, which requires you to basically fly into somewhere close to the US, such as Tijuana. Tijuana has actually, a Tijuana Airport has a crossing right into the US and you don't need a COVID test to walk across a land crossing into the US. So you could fly into Tijuana, cross, catch another flight somewhere else. Obviously this starts to become expensive with all these extra flights and it's a big pain in the neck, but it's an option if for some reason you can't do a COVID test. I don't recommend it, it's expensive and you probably, you know, COVID tests are good. Let's make sure we're not getting on a tube um, and polluting it with a COVID. So, I'm gonna stop that. So here is one of the tests. This is the one I've been using. I don't own stock in this or anything. I, I, I use this because I like it and it's simple. It's, these are Abbott tests, sorry, Abbott tests, but they're not just any Abbott tests. They're Abbott tests from EMED and they are sealed. Don't break the seal. I'm not gonna show you this test. You can, it's super simple. So you don't need me to break the seal. These cost about 30, $35 a piece. That includes the monitoring as opposed to like, you know, your standard from Amazon tests that cost maybe 15 or 20 bucks or your post office test, which is free. These are not free. They're about 35 bucks, but it's nice. I take three of them with me when I travel anywhere. The reason I take three is because they have a 95% uh, accuracy rate, but that's still a 5% false positive rate. So you can test positive and not have COVID at all. Not often, that's only 5% of the time. But if you do this a lot, it's gonna bite you eventually. So I take three. That way, if I test uh, positive, I can just take another one. And then if it's negative, great. If it's test positive, well, then you're gonna have to start talking to your doctor about what you're gonna do because you probably got COVID now. And so I have a third one to test again in five or six days. I'll probably, I also usually travel with the, one of these cheap ones with me too. So I'll test with that if it's never cropped up, but the plan would be if I did have two positives and I'd have to talk to my doctor, quarantine for, I think it's five days now, depending if you're symptomatic, asymptomatic, that keeps changing. So I won't go into that in the video, uh, but you will have to quarantine. You will have to take care of yourself. And then you can test with the cheap one when you finally test negative with the cheap one, then you take the expensive monitored, monitored one, hopefully that's negative, and then you can fly home. So this is what I do to get back in the States. It's just a suggestion. Again, I don't like trampsing around uh, in whatever foreign country I am trying to uh, work with my really pathetically bad Spanish since I'm predominantly in Spanish countries trying to find a COVID test. I'll just bring three with me and then I've got them and I don't have to worry about it. I take it my hotel room less than 24 hours before check-in. I've always tested, you know, knock on wood, thick wood there. I've always tested negative and I check in, upload the results to Verify, check in, catch my flight and I go home. That's it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you find this useful.